All right, so here we are. We've done a couple of different things with our uh, slideshow. We've got 36 different images that have now been set up to be dissolved and to move a little bit. We found out that some of them had some transparency issues, so what we did was we put a black layer underneath everything. And so when our slideshow plays here, what we should see is a little bit of movement, a uh, nice little dissolve one to the next, and if we end up with a problem of one of the slides having a little bit of excess uh, space on either side, that should fill in as having black underneath. And what I've got is a little bit of movement here and there. So it's kind of hard to tell what's happening there and there because of all the movement. You can even have things rotate. So that's kind of fun. All kinds of goodies. So we're going to stop that. I hit the space bar there to stop that. I'm going to move this back to the beginning here. And what we're going to see is now we'd like to add a little bit of type to this. So I'm at the very beginning of this and if I look over on my layers panel on the right hand side and I click the little scroll bar and drag, drag down here I can see that I'm at the bottom and if I click on that first layer notice that it lit up over here as well so here I am all lit up. What I'd like to do now is I'd like to put some type in there but I don't want to put type right here because if I do where's the type going to show up? It's going to show up right above this layer. So the first thing you do is you click and hold the mouse down, drag your little slider all the way to the top. And you can even close, if you like, close this video group by hitting a little twirly there. And now with this video group selected by default, if I go and get the type tool, the type tool will appear and give me a new blank layer above that whole video group and it should show up pretty much right where my little cursor is there if I click. So I'm in the new layer. What I'd like to do is click someplace in the center. Just click one time. Puts a little blinking cursor in there. And now when I back up, look what it did. There it is. There's a type layer that's right above where all the layers of the, in, the images are. Okay. So I'm going to start clicking and typing in here. And what I'd like to type is, let's do slide show and I'm going to hit the return key and say 2015. Now sometimes it shows up the way you want, sometimes it doesn't. You can always fix that. But I'm going to hit the move tool now, which is the top tool on the toolbar. Click that and that'll set the type. And I know it's set when I come over to my layers panel and I see the type layer and the actual type that's in there. If you ever need to change that type, all you have to do is double click the T and it highlights the type and then when you see that all highlighted click this little guy in the options bar that one right there and that'll allow you to change the size of the type you can have it bolded or italicized you can change the space between the layers that's the letting or the tracking or you can even do kerning all kinds of great type stuff and you can teach your kids how to do this stuff too which one is important to which setup uh, when you when you're creating a little design. So I'm just going to grab that the letting there. Now you see I can click to grab some other size or I can highlight it and then use the up and down arrows. And when I do that it moves the 2015 closer to the slideshow or further away. Okay? And if I click off of it anywhere, everything else gets set. Now I can click and highlight just the 2015 and maybe make that a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make that, say, 36 point, and you can see how that's even bigger now. And again, click off of it, and it's going to be all set. Okay? So that looks good. I'm going to hit the Move tool to say Set. Looks pretty nice, but it's in the wrong spot. I'd like to have this above the black layer and then dissolve in and dissolve out. Okay, let's try that. So I'm going to take the video group on the right hand side and I'm going to click the first one and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and grab the bottom one. Shift, click. Now they're all selected. This is really cool. You do it either there in the layers or over here. And all I want to do is click on one, hold the mouse down and drag and look at this. The whole entire set of images goes to the right. Now this is great. What I'd like to do is have the slideshow 
fade in and then fade out as this slide comes in. Great. Leave that there. Leave this here. Perfect. On this layer, click on the slideshow. That's the type. And then to the left, at the end on the left-hand side of that particular layer inside this video file, click the down arrow and look what it does. Oh yeah, it gives me some options for transform, transforming this or changing the opacity, etc. What I want to do here is I'm going to click on this little opacity slider and it puts a little, a little uh, pin there, okay? A little time frame there. I'm going to come over to the layer on the right hand side and I say, you know what? I don't want this to be 100% right there. I'd like it to be zero right there. Excellent. Now I'm going to move back over to the time, click and drag it, and about halfway, that's good. And I'm going to come over and, well, let's click off of it first so that we're not activating that yellow one and give myself a new pin. And this pin, I want to say, let's make this pin 100%. So now that's 100%. Great. And come back over again. And one more time. I'm going to move this a little bit right there. And I'm going to click off to make that not active. Good. And give myself another pin right there. This time, I want to come over and say, Let's make that zero again. So what should happen? What should happen? We should see that little transition go from nothing to 100% to nothing. And when it goes from 100% to nothing, it should dissolve. Let's see it. Ready? From nothing to 100% to nothing. But you know what? I, uh, that's not working. Why is that not working? Because this slide doesn't dissolve in. Let's have it dissolve in. So we click on it to make it active, then come over to our little uh, crossfades here, and I'm just going to have this guy fade. So I'm going to say fade, click, hold the mouse down, and drop that right there. Now what I should see is this. Let's check it out. Move this back to the beginning, our little playhead, and hit the space bar. And let's just watch it. It says slideshow 2015. It comes, it starts sliding out. Very nice. I like that a lot. Okay, so that's adding a little bit of the title to the front. You could do the same thing to the back. And we'll pick it up in the next movie.